Hey guys, I want to apologize in advance. I made a very ill-advised decision to record here in downtown Osaka, Japan, next to a bar and a bunch of giggling schoolgirls. So please bear with me on the audio. I just, I had to get this out for you guys because this is the story of Nixie Pixel. I'm gonna tell it finally after so long and you deserve to hear it. When I first started making videos back forever ago, I was actually in shock and awe at the backlash that I received. People were saying, oh, you don't belong here, and, you know, get off my lawn type stuff. Why do you have boobs and you're talking about tech? And I was just kind of like, that makes no sense at all. And to be completely honest, I was devastated, and I wanted to quit altogether because I didn't think I'd be rejected like that. And I kept on doing them, though, because I knew that I wanted to help someone, and maybe a couple people out there would actually be helped by what I have to say. And so one day I was playing around with Linux and I installed it and posted a video about it. And the Linux community came back and said, wow, I didn't know it was that easy. And things like, I have this computer dying at home and I can't afford an operating system and thank you. And I was just kind of like, yes, it's all worth it. Fast forward to now, you may know that recently I've been having a hell of a lot of trouble with airlines lately and I so much so that I'm actually kind of stranded in Asia despite having a ticket that I rightfully paid for. So I put a cry for help out there on Twitter and Facebook and Google Plus and saying, hey, can you please bug the airlines? Like, just let them know I'm here and I'm stuck. The response that I received was overwhelming. You did more than just bug the airlines. You were like giving advice and support and telling me it'll be okay. And some of you even said, hey, you know, do a crowdfunding campaign and we'll help. So I just wanted to say thank you after so long. I never thought in a million years I would do this, especially not being this like awkward girl that talked about Linux on YouTube for a couple of people. All your support opened my eyes and even though I'm still stuck in Asia, you've made the experience so much better. Just being genuine and real and I didn't think that was possible being online and it is so for the first time in six years I want to introduce myself hello my name is Nicole and uh, but you can call me Nixie now you may see some more stuff on the internet with my name pop up and this is just the steps that I'm going to take to be half as authentic as you've been to me I want to address your crowdfunding idea I've always been, forever, really reluctant to accept money and I've never asked for it for this entire time. But the truth is that YouTube has become <sighs> insanely difficult to make money with. A lot of producers are constantly getting flagged, including myself, and it's just, it's hard to even make ends meet. It's, it's a struggle. Then having no recourse, I decide to partner with a bad network, or I spend most of my time not doing videos but trying to please sponsors. So I'm starting to warm up to the idea, but I do not want charity. I have a proposition. How about I work for you? My videos will always be free, no matter what, and you can just give a little bit if you can, but there's no pressure. I'll work for it by giving tech support, doing live streams, special videos and even t-shirts that I've designed that are top secret right now. Um, what do you think? I've done a lot of research and I actually think I found a website called Patreon that holds the YouTuber responsible for the content that they create um, and the people that they're working for, which is you guys. But like I said, I'm nervous about this, so if you could tell me your thoughts, it means a lot to me. And um, I actually think I have a really good shot at producing content without advertisers, without sponsors, but with the help of you guys, the people that matter. Um, yeah, and produce content on a regular basis. Seriously. Thanks for listening. Talk to you guys later. Bye. They always have to say something every 15 minutes. This is proof, right? It's really, there's worse places to be stuck, but it's extremely expensive here. Uh.